I think the Insta360 GO 3 is the perfect gift for any aspiring filmmaker, uh, and it makes a great, great Christmas present. And I'm recording. I'm running 13 miles today. For those of you that don't know, 13.1 miles is also a half marathon. My goal is to start slow and slowly pick it up and see if I can do the whole thing without stopping. It's cold. There's a bridge that I have to run across. I don't know if it's a sidewalk or not, uh, but I have to get across it to get off this island. <laughs> There's the bridge. neighborhood away from the road I'm better now there's a there's a quote about running and I think it applies to more than just running but the quote is it doesn't matter how fast I go it just matters how far I go I do love having this camera though, because I can't imagine trying to run and bring a bigger camera or use my iPhone and have to fumble with it. It's just, it's so easy. So easy. I'm almost there. I have like 0.5 of a mile left. Oh man, it's Three, two, one. 13.1 miles. sitting here slowly cooking. Shooting that entire run that you just saw was shot on the Insta360 GO 3. And that's cool for a lot of reasons. Everybody went down to the beach. I stayed back to do the responsible thing and get a couple of things done before I before I rejoin the group. Entire running sequence was shot exclusively on this camera. Because of that, I think the Insta360 GO 3 is the perfect gift for any aspiring filmmaker, uh, and it makes a great, great Christmas present. The first one's gonna be just ease of use. If you have it configured, I can just hit record by one click of a button with the camera being completely off. I just hit record, and I'm recording. It's literally just the click of a button. And then for those that want to frame the shots or vlog with this, it has a screen that you can flip up and see yourself while you're vlogging or shooting or, or whatever you're doing. The audio is passable. It's not great like something like this where it's, there's a dedicated microphone, but it's definitely passable for internet videos and, and other things. The mounting options of this camera are just insane. It's honestly, I, this is probably my favorite mounting system out of like all GoPros and even like some tripods and stuff like that. And then the secret weapon and the reason that I would choose this over like a GoPro is if you don't want, if this is too big for you for some reason, you literally can make the camera even smaller, which is this is what I use for, for when I run. And this is magnetic, so if you have something metal, that's not metal and that just dripped. If you have something metal, you can just magnetize it to that and it's like an instant vlogging setup where the it's an incredible piece of gear and it's not very expensive either. If you're looking to get somebody the first camera or uh, just looking to get some kind of camera for somebody that's interested in video, I highly recommend this guy. Also, I think I might do a what to get a photographer like series up until Christmas. There's 20 days till Christmas and I figured 20 videos. Is that a good idea? Let me know in the, in the comments. The, the whole idea with these little this little video, it's not going to be like a gear review or a sales pitch. It's just going to be little tiny pieces of gear that are kind of inexpensive or affordable um, that, I, that I like. And I'm going to vlog like normal. It's just gonna have little tiny itty bitty recommendations uh, throughout it. Does that make sense?
think we're getting we're getting lunch. This is actually the second place we went. The first place is closed on Tuesdays. Savannah is doing a photo shoot for um, for her friends. Uh, I have nothing to do with it, but I'm just going out there just because. I mean, just, it's an excuse to go to the beach. You see, way over there, that's where she's doing doing the photo shoot. Not that I think the photo shoot is boring, it's just I think Savannah has this handled. The the thing that I think is Savannah's strongest suit when it comes to, to photos and, and everything else isn't how well she can work a camera or how well she can she can edit, which she's proficient and really good at both of those things. It's the thing is her ability to control and orchestrate a photo shoot and really get the best looking pictures out of any kind of talent that she's working with. Whenever you're taking photos or videos of a client or, or somebody that's not you, you're really, what you're really doing is you're working with them to make them look the most presentable or the best that they possibly can. And where this gets tricky is when somebody that's not used to having pictures or photos taken of them um, is, in is in front of the camera. And to me that's where a photographer or videographer really shows their experience level. It isn't how well they can edit or how well they can work the camera, it's how well they deal with the talent or whoever their the subject matter is and savannah is phenomenal with that the real reason that i left was honestly i was just getting cold the sun went behind the the clouds and uh well i just 